I am here with Tony Gonsolin, the all-star representative of the National League. How are you feeling? I mean, it's been a few days since you found out. How are we doing right now? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, you know, got to uh, respond to all the congratula congratulatory texts and all that stuff, so that was pretty cool. What did your family say? Um, just that they love me and they're so proud of me. How proud are you of yourself and everything? You said that it was a goal this year to become an all-star. You have now achieved that goal. What does this mean to you? Uh, yeah, it feels pretty good. Um, did a lot of work this offseason during the lockout of you know trying to get healthy and trying to get my shoulder into a position where I can really trust it coming into this year. And um, I feel like I've done that. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of trying to manifest the, uh, the whole all-star thing. Um, since early on, you know, if I'm feeling healthy in the beginning of the year, then I'm going to be be an all-star kind of thing and um, yeah I was fortunate enough to do that. What do you point to when you just kind of reflect on what the first half of the season has looked like for you? What has been your biggest I guess strength? What are you seeing that's kind of stuck out to you? Um, throwing a lot more strikes this year which is huge. Um, I think that's allowed me to go deeper into games, be more efficient. Um, not really trying to not that I'm not trying to punch guys out, but uh, strikeout numbers are a little bit down, I guess, than they have been in, in years past. But overall, I think that's okay. Um, we have the best defense in the league, so letting these guys, letting these guys as well, or do their jobs as well, is is awesome to see. How have you seen just your confidence? And you know, yes, you've been a big league pitcher, but do you find that you're kind of coming in and growing into yourself on the mound? Are you seeing who that man is now? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I've, I think I've said it a few times, but uh, me and Doc had a really good conversation early in the year about closing doors and stop being like a sponge and stop taking all this information in and trying to make, you know, everything be who I am instead of just closing the doors and being who I am. When you look at just what the starting rotation looks like, I mean, coming into this season, there's all this talk of it was you and, uh, and Tyler Anderson. You guys were kind of picking back up, piggy piggybacking off of each other. Now you both have truly established yourself as different starters on your own. I mean, what does it say about just kind of this team's opportunity that you've had in front of you and how you've taken advantage of it? Yeah, um, spring training was an interesting time. Um, you know, I had a lot of starters out there. I uh, didn't really know what the rotation was going to look like. Didn't know what it was going to look like for me uh, coming off of last year and, and uh, not throwing that well last year. But uh, overall, you know, I was fortunate enough to be to be getting the starts. And then me and TA really uh, really bonded, I guess, on our on our days that we got to throw together early in the year. And we every time it's like, hey, let's go get today's game. Um, you know, whatever that looks like, whether it's me going five, him four, me four, him five, me three, him five, whatever it is. Uh, I feel like we both really embraced that role and just tried to do our best uh, early in the year. And then um, I don't want to say like fortunately, like, you know, un the season happens, things go wrong. Um, T.A. was able to get some starts in there and, and he's done a really great job with, how, with, with the opportunity he's been given. So you have one more start tomorrow before All-Star break. Are you ready for the All-Star game? Are you excited? Are you get the clothes ready? How are we going to do this? Uh, yeah, I mean, clothes are there. I got Kershaw. I was fortunate enough to uh, to get me a suit, um, you know, just in case I did get selected. So, so that's all taken care of. Um, so wait, so Clayton bought you a suit. What kind of suit is this? A red one. I don't know, maroon. I guess I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's that's very special that he decided to buy. Is that something that he has done in the past, or is this? Uh, I don't know if he's done it in the past, but. Um, I felt pretty special to, uh, you know, have Clayton approach me and say, hey, um, uh, you know, they're going to come in and do your measurements for a suit tomorrow. Like, what time do you usually get here? It's like, I, I don't know, like between 12 and 1. He's like, okay, they're going to be here from 1 to 2, go in at any time to do it. I'm like, well, what for? And then, you know, he kind of just walked away. But, uh, but, yeah, so I was pretty fortunate for them to do that. 